So I'm coming over the top. No, wait a minute. Maybe I got the club in the slot. What are all these terms mean? Well, today we're talking about how we get the club in the slot and how that can actually help you play better golf. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And there are a lot of terms in golf that can be confusing. And one of the most confusing one is, hey, you gotta get the club in the slot. So today I'm gonna tell you exactly what is the slot, all right? How do you get it there? I'm gonna give you a drill specifically to do that. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. This is the place for you. We're putting out great content all of the time and we love hearing from you. Do me a favor, leave a comment because I do my best to respond to all of them. So, getting the club in the slot. Well, first of all, let's define what the slot is, all right? And then we're gonna talk a little bit about some things I can do in my takeaway and my downswing specific drill to help you do that. So, I've got my live view set up here. This is one of my favorite products that I work with. I use it here at the Academy all the time because it gives me a mirror image of what I'm actually doing from my regular golf setup. So, when I'm set up here, the slot, what I mean by the slot is, is that you can see actually right here on the screen, this slot, I've got two red lines. One of the red lines basically works right up the club shaft, okay, and goes through kind of like where my belt is and then exits my body. The other one goes right up over my shoulder here. This is what we would call the slot. Now, when the club is in the slot, I'm going to show you that here in a second, you're going to probably hit better golf shots. Okay, that's where you want to get the club. So the first thing you got to understand is when a golf instructor says you got to get the club in the slot and the downswing, what they mean is this area between the line right here, between the club shaft and my shoulder. So when the club is working in this area, notice how the club head is working in the area right there, in the slot, I'm going to be more prone to hitting good golf shots versus if it's underneath it or it's over it. Okay, that would be over the top or too far underneath. All right, so that's what we mean by getting the club in the slot. So what are some things that we can do to help us get that club in that position? Well, the first thing is let's talk about the takeaway. I'm gonna give you a really good downswing drill in a second. So in the takeaway, set up right here, got my two lines on here, I got the slot right in there. When this club works away from the ball, Looking down here at the screen, just using my live view, my hands should work just inside that bottom line or the bottom line of the slot while the club head works right on the line. This is a great drill to help you get the club, I'm going to say, in the slot on the takeaway. I have found that if you, the club is in the slot on the takeaway, you're probably more likely to be in the slot on the downswing. So that would be the first tip that I would give you. What most golfers do is they do the opposite. Their hands go up all right, into the slot and the club goes underneath. So the hands go up, club goes underneath. And from this position here, I'm not gonna say you can't get it in the slot on the downswing, but it's gonna be really difficult. So that would be tip number one is in terms of the takeaway. Now, how about in the downswing? Well, all right, I'm in here. Let me show you where we wanna be first of all. So I got this takeaway, I'm up here at the top. Now when I transition down, okay, I actually wanna see my hands work in the slot. And notice how, if you wanna draw the golf ball, Notice how the club head works just a little bit underneath. Okay, now if you're slicing it, you might be here, but then the club head is out there. It's above the slot. This is gonna be a slice, okay? This is gonna be a draw, maybe even a hook, all right? So ideally, we got that takeaway, which we talked about right here, right? And when I come back down to that same spot, I wanna return pretty close to that exact same spot as I come into the golf ball. So, if you're the type who gets over the top or above the slot, here's a great drill for you to do to help you feel that. So what you're gonna do is take your regular setup, make your backswing, and as you start your downswing, what I want you to do is take your lead foot and just step back just a little bit. So it looks something like this. I'm gonna do it slow. Now you're not gonna hit golf balls like this. It's a practice swing. So take it up, a little step back. Take it up little step back. Now, when my hips start to rotate this way and they start opening up, what happens is the club starts to fall and drop into the slot. What most amateur golfers do, if you slice the golf ball, is they do the opposite. They take it to the top and they start their downswing with their upper body. Notice my hips are not moving at all and the club's just going out and above and across. So, you set up. Here's how I like to do this, Joe. We do like, we call it like a little three-setter. We get set up, take it up, I go a little one, two, 
three. And I'm feeling my body opening up as my arms drop back and behind me. So over the top, get the club in the slot. These can be really confusing terms. At the end of the day, the slot is a line from the club shaft through your belt up through your shoulder. That's the slot. Get, the, get it in the slot on the takeaway like we talked about and you'll be way more prone to getting it in the slot and the downswing. I give you a nice little simple drill to do that. If you want to hit good golf shots, you got to get the club in the slot. Hopefully today after watching this, you understand how to do it.